Alright, and welcome back to the fourth episode. I think it is, yes, fourth episode already of Dear Esther. And the cave is more beautiful than the water is scary, so there's that. <laughs> and let's go somewhere. I wonder what all the symbols mean. Oh, I guess that means we're still on the right track. It reminds me of trees and leaves. Well, this one in particular. Mm, roots. Oh, wow. What? Wow. Should build a mine here or something. <laughs> this is a drowned man's face it's reflected in the moonlit waters. It can only be a dead shepherd who has come to drunk drive you home. Or creepy. Yep, it's so creepy. <laughs> and more candles. Someone must have lit these candles. They don't burn forever. Oh hey, what's this? Behold... Damascus is... Wow, creepy. Yep, creepy. Okay, even on the ceiling. Maybe he has discovered time travel or something, I don't know. What's this? Yes. Something like that, I think. Honestly, I'm starting to get more worried about whether the dude, if the dude would be still alive, because that would be, I mean, then you'd be on an island with a madman, which might be considerably worse than being on an island with a dead man. Hmm. Way from being a city. Okay. And and um I shall be a fung fungus eat? What? Ready? And I 
will be a fungus. Hip. Does that? It, it definitely says fungus. That's that's definitely an A and not an E. Um. I, okay. Well, I mean, I guess if you're dead, you sort of. Okay. <laughs> That's freaking out. That's freaking out. Go. Oh, it takes me just a while to get used to things like this. Alright. Got out of the water. Safe. Um, Of course. I mean, I have to say, it, it looks very realistic, well, maybe aside from, it's just that reflected in a really weird way. Okay, um, well yeah, it, it, it sounds very realistic and stuff, but it just, it just looks really I don't think fish in the water would make it better. But why did I just see a, a coffin, like, I, was that at the bottom of there? Do I even really want to find out? Um. Why did I even see a coffin? What was the freaking meaning of that? Ah, nope, don't want to find out. <laughs> happens doesn't it when you go oh yeah I got used to this and then they have some they show a coffin and what is all right new new area I suppose new area Okay. Oh, I can move. I thought I was waiting for something. <laughs> okay, just so did we just just came out of the cave? I guess so. Okay. 
Okay, and all of a sudden it's it's night. Yep. Very nice. Oh, music. In the dark. I wish I could have known Donnelly in this place. We would have had so much to debate. Did he paint these stones or did I? Who left the pots in the hut by the jetty? Who formed the museum under the sea? Who fell silently to his death into the frozen waters? Who erected this godforsaken aerial in the first place? Did this whole island rise to the surface of my stomach, forcing the gulls to take flight? Now I want to check out that the dark. Since I can't jump, I need to go all the way back. Looks pretty though, I mean, look at that sand. It looks real sandy. Yep. Real sandy. Also, things keep changing, I think. Because I didn't see the house before. I'm not really known for my per but no, no. Even my perception skills I should have seen this I suppose. Or the fact that I can't even go back to the other area somewhere. Alright. It looks so pretty. It's gonna. I'm not gonna try that. I don't really wanna fall into the water and then find that I have no way out. And where is this gonna be? All these questions. Let's find out. That's really very pretty. Alright. All these candles. For fire and soil, I chose fire. It seemed the more contemporary of the options, the more sanitary. I could not bear the thought of the reassembly of such a ruin. Stitching arm to shoulder and femur to hip, charting a line of thread like traffic stilled on a motorway, making it all acceptable for tearful aunts and traumatized uncles flown in specially for the occasion. Reduce to ash, mix with water, make a phosphorescent paint for these rocks and ceiling. Hmm. You know what? Not any other setting. This would be a quite a romantic place. But hey, we're still looking for that now. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright. Who could do these guns? Who would have set up all these guns? Yeah. And more pain. I mean, this guy can't have been that for long or we have done that picture picture all right low rest picture of a girl I suppose cuz I see a skirt all right more creepy paint with elements and bombs. Hmm. Hmm. Giant rock. And um. 
More candles. This there were chemical diagrams right. on the posters on the walls on the waiting room. It seemed appropriate at the time. Still life abstractions of the processes which had already begun to break down your nerves and your muscles in the next room. I crammed diazepam as I once crammed yeah. for chemistry examinations. I am revising my options for a long and happy life. Yeah, like I was about to say, it, it, it would be romantic if it wasn't so creepy. And ew, so what's this about? Light... From... From here... 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 From here... From... Shh... Um... Shown around him. Wait, what? Shown him around him. What? Plight from. Shown. What, what? I can't quite get what this. W I mean, said heal. I don't know if that's. No. Hmm. I don't know. It looks creepy in any case. If I would hear this... On a... Deserted island, I'd... I'd be running right now. This sounds really... Funny. From here, I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you. If I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into twenty-one pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic, and I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. Well, they're not quite sinking. Actually, there's a couple that's quite from quite far. Yep, so I'm guessing I'm the one responsible for all the... Yep. For all the candles. Alright! Alright. That's very creepy. So... I guess I have amnesia. Or something? And if you don't know where, who did the painting... Oh god. Uh, sun... A light from the heaven... Ah! A light from the heaven! There we go! That's the word. The light from the heaven shone around him and he fell to the ground. Yep, that's... Okay. Okay. Pretty sure that describes the devil. Uh, what's this? Ooh. The game is inviting us to go for a swim. 
Why thank you game, but no thank you. <laughs> um, if I can help it, which I can't. Nice. All right, so wait, where would the game want us to go? Look at this, I'm going deeper and deeper. This is something I do not like, really. Mm. Alright, well, first I want to know where the game wants us to go. Um, I wish I had a map or... or or anything, really. Oh, hey, the lighthouse. Do mm, you it, way? Because it's very nice that the game is inviting me for a swim, but. Mm, no, thank you. Let's see if we can get up there. Hmm. Well, they were no, they le both led to the same place, didn't they? Hmm. I will drag my leg behind me. I will drag it like a crumpled hatchback, Ew. tires blown and sparking across the dimming lights of my vision. I'm running out of painkillers and I'm following the flicker of the moon home. When Paul keeled over dead on the road to Damascus, they restarted his heart with the jump leads from a crumpled hatchback. It took 21 attempts to convince it to wake up. You. Well, I think that's a good moment to uh, for uh, for this episode to uh, to end. Thank you for watching, and I'll see. You